Okay, then let's solve a problem of J e. paper 2005. In 2005, they asked a problem in which they asked to figure out a reagent that will convert butanone to propanoic acid and they gave you four options your options are NaOH NaI along with H plus option number B felling solution option number C NaOH along with I2 and then you add H plus. And your option number D is Tollens reagent. Now, as you can see in here, that one of the carbon is being removed. So there's, the reaction should be such that it involves removal of a carbon. Now, felling solution and Tollens reagent does not do that. We uh, we know that. Although we, I haven't taught you formally Tollens reagent and felling solution, but this is something that we know from class 10. Tollens reagent is a weak oxidizing reagent and so is felling solution. They too oxidizes aldehyde to carboxylic acid. And if you look at option number A, there is no such reaction that we have studied that involves this reagent, a base NaOH and sodium iodide. Sodium iodide is not a reacting thing. Because if you see in sodium iodide, Na plus is a stable, it enjoys the noble gas configuration of neon. And I minus is a very, very, very stable ion. So the only thing that I minus can do is in a rare case, it can do a nucleophilic substitution as it does in Finkelstein's reaction that we have studied in the chapter of alkyl halide. But as such, I minus is stable. So this reagent is, and along with this, you are just taking a base. So this is not going to do anything. Actually, this reagent will not carry out any reaction on this butane, butane, butanone. All it can do, it can do, it can carry out aldol condensation because this base, remember we took KOH or NaOH for that matter in aldol condensation and aldol condensation does not give carboxylic acid. And aldol condensation does not remove a carbon like this. This is something that we have studied recently. And this is something that seems to be a correct option. Because NaOH and I2, this is a reagent of halofarm reaction. And in halofarm reaction, we know that this methyl group goes away in the form of iodoform, which is yellow in color. And along with that, you get carboxylate ion and because you are protonating it, it will be a neutral carboxylic acid. So this option is correct option and this is pretty simple. Okay. Okay, so let's solve one last problem concerning this reaction and then we'll move ahead with other reactions. IIT JE in 2003 asked this problem. It said that there's a compound A having molecular formula C6H12 and then you're adding HCl on this, you're getting B plus C, both have molecular formula C6H13Cl. Now they are giving you certain information like when you add alcoholic OH, alcoholic KOH, you get D and D happens to be isomer of A and then the, on D if you carry out ozonolysis you get E. Now for E the information provided is Felling's test, Felling's solution gives a negative test but iodoform test is a positive one so this compound e 
gives iodoform test. Iodoform test is simply iodoform reaction. Compounds giving or having iodoform reaction gives iodoform test. Iodoform test means when iodoform is formed, CHI3, this is yellow in color. So when it is yellow in color, then we can know that the, the, the reaction has occurred. And this particular reaction is used to test whether the compound has this group, a methyl attached directly to C double bond O. So this is a test for this kind of group. So this is called iodoform test. So iodoform test is positive meaning E must be having this kind of group. Fine. So this is the information provided about E. And also E when undergo ozonolysis, it gives F plus G. Now about F and G it's given that both give positive tolerance test. Tolerance test is positive but iodoform iodoform test is negative for them. And again F plus G when you add conch NaOH on them you get sodium salt of formic acid plus a primary alcohol. So now they are asking you to identify A to G. This was a, a subjective paper and uh, this was a problem in the mains paper of 2003. So uh, try this out because all the reactions concerning we know and we also know felling solution and tollens test, tollens solution are weak oxidizing agent. They are, they, they are used to oxidize or they are used to test aldehyde and these reagents oxidized aldehyde to carboxylic acid. That means if felling solution is negative, that means E doesn't have an aldehyde group. Felling solution is positive, that means F and G both have aldehyde group and they both do not give iodoform test and rest of the reaction we know we know what this alcoholic KOH does this we, we, we had this discussion before that aqueous KOH is a nucleophile alcoholic KOH is a base so it will carry out elimination reaction on B as you can see there's a halogen and this is a simple addition reaction because C6S12 is a alkene the general formula of alkene is CnH2n plus 2. So a alkene of 6 carbon will have a formula C6H14. They are 2 hydrogen less. So there is a unsaturation. We are adding HCl. This is just an addition reaction. This is elimination reaction. Ozonolysis we had. We know what this ozonolysis is. And conch NaOH. Because F and G, they both give tolerance test. That means F and G, they both are have aldehydic group. And you are adding conch NaOH on compounds having aldehyde group, you are getting an acid and you are getting an alcohol. Now there must be no trouble in identifying that this is a Canizaro reaction, an iodoform reaction we have studied. So all the reactions concerning this problem we know. So now what you have to do is you have to try it out. Work this problem on your own. If you can work it out, you can solve any problems in today's pattern of ITJ because the pattern currently is a quite easy one. The questions are not so difficult as this one seems to be. You'll have a simple straightforward problems. So you'll not have any difficulty. You'll get confidence if you can solve this one out. So uh, with your full might, attempt this problem. Work it, it out. Write the structure of compounds from A to G on your own. And then uh, listen to the discussion that we are going to have now. Okay.